Welcome to Understanding Tides. The aim of this DVD is to help you to get your head around basic tidal principles and to understand some of the effects they may have on us as sea kayakers. We recommend that you use the pause button while watching and this will allow you time to completely understand each element. If you are using this as a teaching resource please feel free to mute the sound and add your own explanations to each section. In this DVD we will cover causes of our tides, daily changes in tides, spring and neap tides, tidal streams, tidal races and overfalls, the rule of twelfths and the 50-90 rule. Before we can fully understand the intricacies of tides there are some basic principles that we must understand. The Earth, as well as all the other planets in our solar system, orbits the Sun. It does this over a period of 365 days. To be exact, it is actually 365.25 days, which is why every four years we get a leap year. The Earth is also rotating on its own axes. It takes 24 hours for the Earth to do one full rotation. The Moon, which is also orbiting the Earth, has a huge gravitational pull on our oceans. It is this pull that causes the tides on our Earth. To simplify things it is best to imagine that the earth is a solid mass rotating within a liquid, the ocean. The huge gravitational pull of the moon causes the ocean to bulge towards it. A second bulge occurs on the opposite side of the Earth. The reasoning behind this is rather complicated but it's based around centrifugal forces. We essentially have two bulges. One on the side of the Earth where the Moon is and a second on the opposite side of the Earth. We therefore get two high tides in a day. One, as the UK passes through the bulge on the side of the Earth where the Moon is, and a second high tide as we pass through the bulge on the opposite side. The Moon is also orbiting the Earth. It does this in a counterclockwise direction when looking from the North Pole. It takes a total of 28 days for the Moon to do one complete orbit around the Earth. It is important that we understand that the Moon changes position each day as this is what affects the times of high water. As the Moon is orbiting the Earth it moves several degrees to the east each day. As a result our high waters become later and later. High tide in most places is 48 minutes later each day. The position of the Moon within its 28 day cycle in relation to the Sun is very important.
it has an effect on what we call spring and neap tides. Spring tides don't just occur in the spring. They happen every 14 days when the moon is in line with the sun, a new moon and a full moon. We get a spring tide on a new moon. The gravitational force of the moon and the sun combine with each other. This results in a much larger bulge in the ocean on the high tide sides of the earth. and a much smaller bulge on the low tide sides of the earth. We also get a spring tide on a full moon. It takes two weeks between a full moon and a new moon. This has the same effect as the moon and the sun are both pulling along the same plane, stretching the ocean towards them. This again results in a much larger high water and a much smaller low water. One week after a spring tide, we get a neap tide when the moon is half lit and is at a right angle to the sun. The moon still has the greatest gravitational pull on the ocean. However, the sun is trying to pull in the opposite direction. The result is a high water bulge that is a lot smaller than we would get on a spring. How would this look if we were to watch the tide going in and out in a harbour on both a spring and a neap tide? As you can see, high water on a spring tide comes a long way up the harbour wall. As the tide goes out and we get to low water, the tide drops a long, long way down the harbour wall, creating a large tidal range. On a neap tide, however, the tide doesn't come as far up the harbour wall. And as the tide starts to go out, it doesn't drop as far down the harbour wall at low water. We therefore get a much smaller tidal range on a neap tide. It's very important that we can establish if we are on a spring or a neap tide. On a spring tide there is a much greater volume of water filling up our bays, harbours and estuaries. This results in tidal streams, which we'll talk about later, moving much quicker.